Here we are aboard White Mouse 2, the Philip 50, currently moored at Nos Marina on the Dart, the very site where she was built, now being uh, rebuilt by Premier Marinas into one of their top class facilities. CQR anchor with a stainless steel power roller that self stows and Simpson Lawrence electric windlass with foot pedals here for up and down on the deck. Solid teak decks, corked and paid with Sikaflex and varnished teak cover boards. Varnished teak capping rails and the original galvanized stanchions with a varnished teak capping. Nice wide decks. Here we have varnished teak butterfly skylight over the fore cabin and a teak uh, deck box either side. Good for storing all your gear in, keeping it out of the way. Here's a stainless ladder here onto the uh, roof of the lower saloon. And then steps up there by the windscreen onto the wheelhouse roof. You need to access the uh, radar and life raft, navigation lights, searchlights, all the gear on the roof. superstructure is all teak with uh, chrome bronze window bezels currently is uh, work going on to rectify uh, varnish peeling corners and so on after the winter Let's see here this varnished teak gutter which stops uh, rainwater dripping off the wheelhouse roof running down the windows Ventilation scoops from the engine room. Sliding wheelhouse door here on the port side. And the boarding ladder currently stowed up alongside. It's uh, dropped down when needed to provide a very easy boarding from the dinghy. Half deck with a small coach roof over the aft cabin. And here is a stainless steel Derrick crane with an electric winch for launching the dinghy which sits on the aft deck. pair of hatches over the aft cabin and here's a, uh, a gate in the capping wheel with a ladder down to the swim bathing platform and here is the hatch into the lazarette good storage facility and there you can see the transom a good place to see the double diagonal construction with all the copper rivets through and the very closely spaced uh, steam timbers. Looking at the aft end of the wheelhouse, you can see here large chrome blonde cleats and fair leads.
and into the wheelhouse on the starboard side. Here in the wheelhouse of White Mouse 2, the starboard sliding entrance door. It's the helm position. The original seat in a variable height. Helm, engine controls, Raymarine uh, chart plotter, all the other Raymarine instruments, Furuno radar, steering compass, VHF, and of course the uh, engine instruments. Switch panel down here on the starboard side. And here at the aft end is a settee with a Pullman berth. So this comes up level. Create a very large single berth on the bottom and another potential berth on the top if you wanted it. Here, either side, have the controls for the searchlights. And the hatch here, into the engine room. Here in the engine room on White Mouse 2. Here's the, down the uh, stainless steps and the starboard engine. Six cylinder Perkins diesels, the original engines have been maintained by the local Perkins dealer, Oxley Marine. He's done a lot of work on the engines for the current owner in the last 10 years, and they are extremely good. In 2020, um, she came back from Scotland. She left the Clyde and steamed all the way to Dartmouth in one go, non-stop, and the engines never missed a beat. So. Although they are the original engines, they are extremely reliable and in nice condition. Here's the port engine. This is the exhaust, new stainless exhaust to a silencer and uh, then out over the, uh, over the side. Starter motor, alternator, freshwater header tank. Over on the port side there is the diesel fired heating system and you can see all the ducting for the various cabins. Here's the hydraulic system for the stabiliser. And the Victron, Victron chargers and inverters. Here's a 1200 watt inverter, 24 volt. And this is a 75 amp, 25 volt charger. Two forty electrical systems. You can see down here to the shaft, Borg Warner velvet drive hydraulic boxes. Under here, is a workbench underneath is a Onan diesel generator in a soundproof box and tool chests and so on here as well. Domestic hot water cylinder run off the uh, port side engine and also with a 240 volt coil as well. back up to the wheelhouse. Going down below, heading towards the bow, into the main saloon. Very comfortable U-shaped seating here on the port side around a drop leaf table.
hatches above for light and ventilation. Lots of storage space, glasses, drawers, of course the drinks cabinet. More big storage lockers. And this very uh, open space here, looking down into the galley. U-shaped galley. Electric hob. Electric Panasonic oven. Currently dehumidifier is working here. Single very deep stainless sink with pressurized hot and cold water. Coffee machine. Storage lockers here. And again, nice contazina doors. Large fridge. and so on there and lots of storage below as well to starboard here it's the forwards heads compartment accessed from the communal door here so full standing headroom shower electric heads and a hand basin. So you note there are two doors here. The forward door goes into the forward cabin when you have guests. Here we are into the forward cabin. Custom made double berth. All this joinery dates from her refit in the 1980s. Lots of storage space here. The forward doors go into a big locker and then the anchor locker. So again, quite a lot of space forward of here. Here is the door into the heads from the forward cabin. These same headlinings throughout the boat. Moving back aft. Through the galley. Up into the saloon. And then up into the wheelhouse. And then heading down aft to the aft sleeping accommodation on the starboard side here. Moving aft into the aft cabin or the owner's cabin. Large double berth, lots of light and ventilation. Settee here on the starboard side. Large storage locker behind here. Behind this panel is into the lazarette that we looked at earlier. It's a small dressing table on the port side. And the door into the aft heads. Here, heading forward again, twin cabin there, up to the wheelhouse, and into the beautiful Devon Spring Sunshine.
view from the pontoon uh, port side. This very distinctive transom with a bathing ladder and bathing platform. This angle you can see the uh, lovely line of the shear. Nice bit of tumble home there on the transom. Makes for a very pretty hull. back along from the bows very purposeful lines to these boats a high bow with a good flare just throws the water away makes her a very dry boat even in a good sea and again this angle you see the nice line of the shear kicking up a little bit at the stern with that tumble home on the transom